<laughs> Welcome back to Know Your Brother. I am your host, Merlin Jane, and today we have a boy who's ahead of the fishing club, a member of the National Arts Honor Society. He's received the Artist of Promise Award from the Hartford Art School, as well as second place award for the student artist in Hartford. He's from Simsbury, Alexander Sanborn. Thank you so much for coming on. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Let's jump right in. Alex, what have you done this summer? How, how's your summer been going? Well, uh, I think I can say, I think a lot of people can relate. The summer's definitely been a weird one with COVID. Um, finding a lot of little ways to keep busy. That's mostly how my summer's been going. I've been doing art, obviously. Uh, just little fun stuff. Nothing for school, but just, you know, uh, whatever I feel like doing. I've been making a lot of music as well. Been like making instrumentals uh in like fl studio and stuff that's just been a fun way to like use my time and obviously i've been fishing a lot too that's keeping me sane um but yeah i mean with not spending as much time around other people uh i guess just finding a lot of little things to do and uh yeah keep busy you said you were playing music what instrument do you play how many instruments do you play oh man well um i mainly i like to sing and i also do play drums but uh yeah recently i've just been doing the music production stuff so like on you know on computer apps and programs been like making uh, melodies and, and drums and all that but i did actually start playing drums at like third grade and you know um haven't been playing them as intensely since high school but i do still play so yeah you talked about corona just being completely a blind side to everyone um avon did a great job after spring break with transitioning from on campus learning to online how was your transition from on campus to online so my transition was probably a little harder than most so one of the reasons i actually came to avon is because uh, i suffer from like attention deficit disorder so i have a harder time keeping engaged in a bigger classroom in a less uh one-on-one -on -one environment so that's one of the great things avon did for me uh, going there, the smaller classroom sizes, the more one-on-one -on -one learning, it allowed me to kind of understand how to learn. So it was a very odd transition. I had a harder time staying focused. I had a harder time um, staying engaged. However, I, uh, the teachers did a really good job of uh, continuing conversations through the online learning, having dialogues, uh, really offering themselves up for when extra help was needed. So it definitely wasn't impossible, you know. Um, I maintained uh, my grades, and and it was uh, it was fine. Um, it wasn't it wasn't preferable, but uh, I think the school did a really good job of transitioning, uh, all things considered. So yeah, that's hopefully that will stay the same with the we going back to campus a little bit later. But hopefully, I assume it will be just as fun as it was uh, online. But on campus, as we're talking about it, you're a well-known artist. Who or what inspired you to become an artist? So for what inspired me, I would have to say just generally my family. I come from a very arts-oriented family. My mom um, uh, did, does a lot of directing in the theater uh, departments of, of different surrounding schools here. Uh, you know, she performed. Um, my dad was actually an AP art student in high school himself. Uh, he has a lot of cool stuff that he's made over the years. And my grandma was also a really good artist. Um, we actually have a lot of paintings around the house of just her stuff. So I guess walking around surrounded by all that, um, surrounded by kind of a family that really supported that once I showed some promise with it, I guess they were very supportive and it just made me want to do it more. Um, yeah, it was just a, a form of inspiration that kind of made me want to live up to some of my relatives i guess <laughs> is there any piece of artwork that you're most proud of obviously i'm going to flash up on the screen right about now all the artwork that you have uh is there any piece of artwork that you're most proud of yeah i would say the uh stippling which is the um i don't know if you're going to throw it up right now but it's the piece with the two hands and the in the lighter and i made that one for my brother i'm not going to go into a bunch of detail because it is sort of a sensitive topic but i wanted to you know, make him something really meaningful, uh, something that he could look at and get a meaning, a message from every time he did. So I made that to kind of symbolize with the light, sort of like not letting your light die out, not letting your hope die out. And um, 
it, it was definitely a very powerful piece me working on it um and yeah i mean he has it framed right now in his room so it's uh it, it definitely has a lot of personal meaning to me and sentimental value so that was a that was a fun thing to work on yeah is there an element of art you enjoy working on the most one of art generally uh like we were talking about before this episode starts uh i i, I like doing a lot of uh 2d stuff stippling with pen um kind of like the 2d crazy colored one i made uh i like just letting my mind flow i like just drawing with pen and i like just coming up with some cool stuff that i could fledge out add more to and it and it comes out looking pretty cool so yeah so obviously then you said the pen is the most important artist tool that you <laughs> just generally pencil pen and a piece of paper um yeah i like adding color and uh, shading and all that but generally it's uh, th that's the most fun for me yeah as a senior is art something you were looking at majoring in college or is there something else well, uh, right now, I, <laughs> I do not have a, a clear decision, but um, art's definitely going to be a big focus of my senior year. I will say I'm going to see what I can do with it, and I'm, uh, I'm kind of planning on just doing the most I can in art. Um, you know, I'm taking up two of my sports seasons to take uh, AP Art, which is a two-year course. I'm, I'm only, I only have one year to do it, so um, I'm going to be doing that. So I'm, I'm, I'm putting a lot of emphasis on art this year. Uh, so I think I'm just going to wait and see how I feel about it in the spring and uh, go from there. But uh, I am also interested in environmental science, interested in psychology and uh, something along the science route, um, if not art. So, yeah. Talk to me about the art program. What advice would you have for future and incoming freshmen and students interested in the arts programs? Well, I would definitely say to new students in the art program, and especially incoming students, you know, don't be afraid to get weird with it. Don't be afraid to get creative. Don't be afraid to make something that maybe isn't, you know, a perfect piece of art per se. Uh, it doesn't have to look great. It's just all about getting your mind out on a piece of paper. And I promise you, like, if it's not oh it's not the best or whatever, and it's just a thought, like it will, you will get better with it. So. And you can make some really cool stuff just out of obscure thoughts that no one would think would make a, you know, a stunning art piece. So definitely don't be afraid to get creative. Don't be afraid to reach out. Miss Pinton has been a great resource to me uh, in the arts at Avon. So, you know, don't be afraid to ask her if you have any questions or you have any thoughts about, uh, you know, an idea you want to do. Just don't be afraid to put yourself out there. This last question here as we wrap it up for fun. What are you most excited for? It is your senior year, obviously, with yeah. COVID on the uprise. You know, things might look a little bit different. But on campus, we're going to try to keep it as unique as possible. What are you most excited for? I'm most excited to uh, get back to the boys. I'm most excited to just get back into sort of a more social environment of uh, – I think I can probably speak for most people. I'm very uh, – done with all uh, the social distancing and staying away from everyone. So I'm just excited to get back into a classroom. I'm excited to, uh, you know, reconnect with the teachers and just, just have a senior year of school, I guess. I'm just excited for that. <laughs> I never would have thought that people would look forward to school so much in yeah. before, but that's the reality we live in. But Alex, thank you so much for joining me. I know your brother. That is our episode. Alexander Sanborn is an amazing artist on campus. Thank I'll be flashing up some of his artwork throughout this episode and at the end so you guys can get a look. Also, make sure to check him out in the art gallery once we return to campus. But thank you, Alex, so much for joining me. Thank you.